Hello and welcome to Ramco TV. I'm Rick Helmer, the sales guy formerly known as Ramco's Drives Guy. Many of you have heard me talk about ABB drives and how user-friendly they are to set up and use. Some may even say a kid could do it. I tested that theory on a recent long weekend. I had ABB's new ACS380 demo at home and introduced my daughter to it. Let's see how she did. Hi, Annika. Hi. What do you do for work? I don't work. What do you do? <laughs> I go to school. How old are you? I'm eight. <laughs> Have you ever worked with a drive before? Um, once. <laughs> once? Yeah. Just now? Uh, no, a while back. <laughs> <laughs> with one of my other demos? Yeah. <laughs> so would you say you're an expert? Okay, but how old are you? Eight. And you were able to work with my demo? Yes. Okay, let's see how good you are now. Okay. Okay, so we're going to work on a setup of a drive, Annika. <laughs> okay. So, first thing, can you read me that word? Motor type in the Strunzius motor. <laughs> That's asynchronous. We'll just leave that as is. Okay. So the next one, <laughs> the next one is vector. We will leave that as is. So the motor current, we have to change that. Okay. What do we need to change it to? So we push it here. Yep. Zero point seven. Zero point seven. Save. Got it. And motor nominal voltage. Now what do we need to change it to? Two hundred thirty. 230, so I can move that, and go up to 30, yep. and push save. Okay. And what's the next one? Motor nominal frequency. Okay. And that needs to be 60. Okay. Uh, okay. Save. Save. Okay. And now down. And motor, motor nominal, nominal speed. speed. Do we want it to stay like that or mm. not? We need to change it to 1,640. Okay. 640. So we're going to take that away and make it a 4. No, that's 1,400. 1,640. Oh, yeah. Well. So, okay. Save. Save. Go down. One more. One more. Keep going. Change that one. So push this. Yep. No. Go down to uh, normal. Normal. Save. Save. Normal. Yep. Save. Okay, so you got your motor set up. Now we've just got to do an identification run. So that's so, what this machine right here is going to do. Yep. So the drive will identify the motor. So at this point, all you have to do is press start on the keypad. Mm. Right now? Yep. The motor's going to make some ugly noises, but <laughs> it is tuning the motor to the drive. Yep, because it has to go through that huge cord. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we'll try. So let's go back to this main screen. Yeah. And we can see what's going on while this is happening. So we can see our motors getting up to 40 hertz, 45, 90, 100 on here. We're putting out three tenths of an amp of current. Mm, there's a break right there. Yep. In case we want to stop it. Yep. It's, of course, there has to be an emergency stop. Yep. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Okay, so it's slowing down. Yep. That's weird. Why did you go down and then go back <laughs> up? Why? Okay, so we're going to 
Okay, now it stops. Okay, now we see on our screen, ID run done. Mm -hmm. So now at this point, you're up and running and this can be installed. Okay, Annika, so with we've just proved that with little previous drive experience, you were able to start up this drive, right? Yes. And was it part very hard? Not really, I just needed the numbers to put on the Geneva bobber. And you needed to be able to read? Yes. Yep. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Are you smarter than the third grader?